What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. On my way into the office, didn't get a whole lot of sleep, but guess what? We're going to sleep on a plane. We ain't tripping about it. We're going to go and get that bag. I got a flight to catch later on this afternoon, but I got some thoughts that I need to get off real quick, y'all. What the hell is happening with all of these chicks? It's like it's something in the air that it's all happening at one time because we used to women doing stuff that's not that's not best for themselves or the people that they're with and they do it publicly that, i'm so confused about that right so we're talking about the kiki palmers the meg the stallions as usual i'm gonna cover this a little bit more uh in the millionaire morning show because we're gonna have to bring black women to the front of the congregation uh but it's almost like when certain things happen it just happened to all of them at one time like they all just start to get influenced by what's happening on social media and then they all just crash out at the same time what is that so people are sending me these articles and what was going on with kiki palmer as far as her at the usher show and let me tell you usher show was one of the best concerts that i've ever been to took my wife there early uh i think it was around february maybe it was march i don't know but i had bought the tickets uh late last year because you know i wanted to go to that usher experience and it was happening in uh las vegas and it was it was absolutely awesome and incredible as a matter of fact i think 21 savage was at my show and tyra banks and i think fab was there or something like that but it was it was a great show roll one as usual we do everything vip um but then like it's like all of the ratchets and if you wanted to catch you a ratchet or a black a black chick specifically all you had to do was go to the Usher show in Las Vegas. I don't even know where all of these people would stand. When I was in Las Vegas, I was there for a long time. Like, I was there for over a week. And I was out and about. And I was participating. And I was in the Bellagio and um, Aria and, you know, the Vidaro. That's where I actually stayed in the penthouse inside of the Vidaro. And I didn't see no black people. But then when I went to the Usher show, it was just like they all converged on it at the same time. And it was mostly all black women. Um... You know, some most of them was for the street. Some of them was just there had a good have a good time. But people were sending me this thing with Kiki Palmer and that she was basically uh, allegedly dressed like a slut, and her baby daddy or the father of her kid, rather. I know y'all want to be politically correct right now. The father of her kid, uh, I guess, had commented because maybe he wasn't there with her. I don't know why he wasn't there. Why she wasn't going with the father of her kid. If they in a relationship, I don't understand why they're not going together. I'm there with my wife. And so it's like, you know, I guess she was sparsely dressed while Usher was serenading her and stuff like that. And he commented it. It's so much wrong with this conversation. It's so much wrong with this picture. But the first thing that we have to say is that why is she putting herself in a position to embarrass this man in the first place? Now, the only reason you following Kiki Palmer's baby daddy is because she out there looking crazy you know what i'm saying and dressing unlike a mom and then you know what they're gonna say they're gonna say well we don't want to shame no mom shaming or we want to break the stereotype of what moms a mother is supposed to be a representation of what they want their daughters and their sons to see as they grow up they're not supposed to be you know what i'm saying buzz downs i heard that uh monica's kid or son was looking at a video or something like that from the game or something where she had did something with the game and he commented like you know what's going on mom what is this and she like oh mommy was just working or something and it's just like i don't want to i don't want a woman's a woman should never have to explain to their children why they were in a compromised position for money clout fame or embarrassing a family and more importantly embarrassing a person that they having children with which should be their husband right and then uh somebody else sent me something we all oh, we gonna bring the women to the front of the congregation on the millionaire morning show today make sure y'all tune in and then somebody else sent me something and it was basically of um meg the stallion having a twerk fest at the essence festival now it's no reason for me to ever go to the essence festival because i've always looked at it as um that the essence festival bet all of those outlets whatever they are i've always looked at it as an opportunity for people to be able to come together to, to celebrate a culture uh and put it on a pedestal that's trash for us and i was right and let me tell you how i was right 
So then they have a twerk fest at the Essence Festival. And then, you know, it was people in the comments going back and forth or whoever runs the social media for Essence. And it was basically saying, yo, I thought that Essence was supposed to be like a classy event that celebrates the best of us. You know, even the word Essence is supposed to embody something a little bit different than what was displayed on the stage and stuff. And a person that's on the social media that's running Essence social media is going back and forth like, you know, basically got smoke for people. And so not only are we looking at a generation or an environment where a lot of people, especially our black women, are feeling compelled and empowered to continue to do whatever they, they want to do. They don't even feel no shame about it. Not only do they not feel shame about it, they gonna go at your neck. And if you say anything about it, they gonna have you on a chicken, they gonna have your ne they neck on a chicken string and they gonna pin you to the top of the wall. And this is the environment that y'all created for yourselves because I warned y'all. I told you, I said, once that genie is out of the bottle, you never getting it back in. Once you, you let the prisoners run the insane, insane asylum, you're never gonna get back control. And it's over, it's over. There is no saving the community. There is no community. The community is trash. The culture is trash. The things that we celebrate the most about it is trash. And I don't see nobody, nobody, not none of these blackity blacks, not any of these people that think that they, they got a voice and an opinion online and actually, it's, they will come at the people that actually live their life as a reflection of what they would want their daughters and the people that they influence to be like, what violence and and hot fire and brimstone but then when it comes to the people that's actually making you look like trash and the ones that you celebrate the most shout out to all of my single baby mamas out there that's twerking on stage they quiet they ain't got nothing to say it's a reason for that and the reason for it is because you've lost you've lost the plantation you've lost the 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 prison and now, when you give people the option to be able to choose for themselves, and especially now that you're letting the most ignorant ones be the voices and the, and the face of what it is that you are and what you represent, and yes, they are. Don't sit here and tell me that they're not because they are. These, these are the ones that you go to their concerts, you buy their records, you take their advice, you live your life like them, and you advocate for them even when they do the worst things. These are the ones that that, that is the face of who you are. And so... It's over. The only advice that I can give you at this point is that for men that stand on a square and for the women that's actually not for the streets, divest yourself from the culture. Save yourself. Don't align yourself with anybody that's not going in the direction that you're going in. And uh, rock out with Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Make sure y'all get that T. Chanley. 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Uh, tap into the Patreon link is in the description as well as pin to the top of the chat. But as far as what it is that you look as the community, power to the people, it's done. Benito, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I love you. I appreciate you. Make sure y'all tune into the Millionaire Morning Show. Oh, and make sure that you you tune into the channel tonight. If you're not subscribed, you need to make sure that you subscribe because I have some uh, content that's dropping that I think is going to surprise you. It's an opportunity for me to be really, really vulnerable, all right? I love you. I appreciate you.